everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you use the quadratic formula to solve um, uh, to, to solve quadratic equations so if you want to know how to derive the quadratic formula you can follow up the link which is just in the description if uh, at all you've not seen it in the description you can simply just contact me on any of these lines on the screen on whatsapp facebook or just um yeah or just um just a direct call i'm going to send you the link so that you can watch how to derive the quadratic formula and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification button okay let's quickly begin to solve the uh, the, the equations so the quadratic formula itself is simply just um so the quadratic formula itself is simply just um, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac then everything divided by 2a. So this is the formula that we're going to use to solve all these questions you are seeing um, on the screen. Okay, so let's start with the first one there. So the first thing that we need to identify is the value of a, b and c. So we know that the general format of a quadratic equation is a squared, I mean a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero. So when we compare it with this, um, the value of a is simply just equal to one because that's the coefficient of x squared. Then the value of b is just equal to negative three because that's the coefficient of x. So we also have the value of c, which is just negative 54 which is just the coefficient, uh, rather, which is just a constant in this case. So we have negative 54. So it's just a matter of replacing them in this expression. So now let us replace. We have x is equal to negative, our, ne our b is negative 3. We say plus or minus the square root of b is still negative 3 squared minus 4. Then the value of a and c are simply just 1 and negative 54 respectively then everything divided by uh, 2a the value of a is 1 so we can do the mathematics there so negative times negative 3 there will give us positive 3 and then we have plus or minus the square root of uh, negative 3 squared gives us 9 and then we say minus negative and negative there will simply just give us a positive so this one will change to positive so I have 4 times 54 so 4 times 54 is simply just 216. So 216. Then we're dividing everything by 2 times 1. This is just 2. So let us continue from this other part. Okay, so we have x is equal to 3 plus or minus. When we add uh, 216 plus 9, the solution is simply just 225. So we have 225 there, everything over 2. So we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 225 is simply just uh, 15. Then we divide everything by 2. So the first value of x that we have is going to be 3 plus 15 over 2. Then we also have the other value of x which is just going to be 3 minus 15 over 2. So 3 plus 15 gives us 18 and then we divide everything by 2 to get the value of x as 9. And then the other one is uh, x is equal to 3 minus 15 we get negative 12 divided by 2 we get negative uh, 6. Alright so these are the two values of x that are needed. Alright, so let's quickly move on to the next one. So we'll get this one. Then from there, I'll leave the two questions for you to solve. Or I'll get this one, I'll also solve this one. Okay, I'll solve everything. Okay. Alright, so let us write the quadratic formula again. So the quadratic formula is... Um, x is equal to let me just write let me just remove this so it's x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4a c and then everything divided by 2a so from this equation we can we can identify our a our a is simply just 3 then our b is simply just uh, 16 and then our c 
we have to get this negative 5, take it to the other side of the equal sign. So this will become uh, 3x squared plus 16x then uh, plus uh, 5 because it was negative 5 when it crosses the equal sign it becomes positive 5. So the value of c is positive 5. So c is 5. So we just have to replace the, uh, the, the, the values there. So x will now be equal to negative 16 because we have this negative and positive 16 there. We put there our b then plus or minus the square root of 16 and then squared minus 4 the value of a is 3 then the value of c is simply just uh, 5 then we divide everything by 2a so the value of a is 3 rather so we put 3 there okay let us simplify this so we have negative 16 plus or minus so 16 squared is simply just um, 256 then 4 times 3 that's 12 and then 12 times um, okay let me write 256 256 minus 4 times 3 12 then 12 times 5 that's 16 then we say everything divided by 2 times 3 this gives us 3 so let me demarcate here so that we solve okay so the value of x is equal to negative 16 plus or minus 256 uh, minus 60 gives us 196 so 196 there then everything divided by 6 so the value of x is therefore negative 16 plus or minus then the square root of 196 is simply just 14 so we write 14 there everything over 6 so the value of x is equal to negative 16 plus 14 uh, will give us negative 2 or oh, let me write this negative uh, 16 plus 14 over 6 and the other value of x is equal to negative 16 minus 14 over 6 so the first value of x is simply just equal to when you add this you're getting negative 2 over 6 which will therefore be uh, will, will, this will give us uh, 1 over negative 1 over 3 and then the other on the other hand here we have negative 16 uh, um, and um, 14 when you add them we, uh, we say negative 16 and negative 14 gives us negative 30 over 6 so the other value of x is simply just negative 5 these are the two values of x that you are supposed to find let us quickly move on to the next uh, question Okay, so for this one C, I'm just going to rearrange it for you and then you solve it and send the solution. So for C, we have X. Okay, for C, we have uh, X squared plus 4 is equal to 8X. So you just have to arrange your quadratic equation in the format AX squared plus BX, then plus C is equal to 0. So in this case, we have x squared and then we bring this a to the other side of the equal sign to be negative 8 x then we say plus 4 is equal to 0 so this is what you are going to have as your equation so your value of a in this case is 1 the value of b is negative 8 then the value of c is 4 so you use the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac everything over 2a to solve um, to solve uh, the, this quadratic equation for the second one which is this one we also rearrange it in this format so for this equation we have x squared plus 24 is equal to 0 so in this case we have x squared plus 0x plus 24 is equal to 0 so meaning the value of a in this expression is simply just 1 because that's the coefficient of x squared then the value of b is simply just equal to 0. That's the coefficient of x. Then we also have the value of c, which is 24. So you can use uh, this same quadratic formula to uh, replace in these values and then find the values, and rather find the value of, um, yeah, so find the value of x, I mean the values of x that are needed. All right, so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so. And um, 
in case you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these lines and not should not forget to uh, click the notification button so that whatever video that i'm going to be posting you should be able to view it my name is hamted see you in the next tutorial video uh, shalom shalom